Hey there. Today I'm going to uh, showcase a ridiculous dun World 1 dungeon run, clearing all three Grand Froggers with plenty of time to spare during the uh, Friday Night Frog M extended timer event. I'm going to go through this every step of the way with you, just kind of commenting along with what happens. Let's dive in. Thank you to everyone who told me about the coin toss, the hot key firing off four coins instead of three. Uh, some of my footage is a little bit older, but I have learned it now. This one was when I was first learning, so you'll see me do it right and do it wrong sometimes. I bought three accessories and got the exact mix, two rings and a pendant, enhance them, get total damage, cash, and more cash. And I'm going to buy some more jewelry enhancers to switch that total damage, try and get it over to drop rate. And it landed on cash from mobs, so I'm going to take my lowest cash from mobs and turn it into drop rate. I'm okay with settling for 10% rather than trying to re-roll. We're just going to leave that for a little bit. Save it for, because Ninja Smoke is really a terrible item, and the Transmogrifier box isn't any good all on its own, because it just, you drop your grays and get replacements for them. But then, you see the Genesis Sphere here, and a plot begins to form. So here's what we do. We stack up and get as many different gray orbs as we can. So specifically go for ones that we don't have. <laughs> and now things really get out of hand. So now we turn all of those and see we've got one new item. Two, three. Recycler turns into another one. Four. Five, recycler into another six, seven, eight. So that just gave us eight extra items just from that synergy right there. And then there's RNG voucher number two. So we're now up to two Genesis Spheres and two RNG Vouchers. And things are just starting to get out of hand. And that has drop that had had drop rarity on it, so I picked it up. And then pick up another RNG item, gives us another item. And this run is very quickly getting away from us. Like there's going there are so many item drops and it's just gonna keep getting crazier. Then we get some more damage going. These enemies are already going down absurdly fast. That is Sugar Rush number three. Attack speeds are starting to get out of hand. So now we summon the first boss. So we'll drop items for all three varieties that we need. Take him down in one quick moment. Clear out all the enemies and the enhancers. Pick up 
Picture the Rush number four, and then summon the leftover purple frogs and then everything for the second Grand Frogger. Pick up all of this equipment here and Horn of the Full. Gonna check our crit chance really quick. That'll put us up to a 43%. Not a bad place to start with the horn. And then this is where things just start getting really crazy. So uh, what I was trying to do there was I was trying to get the weapons to rank up so that I could get wraps, but it did not rank up, so I just gave up on it. And at this point, we're just selling stuff while letting the auto kill things. Picking up item after item after item. Making sure to get crit rate. Clearing out all of these enemies. We just need the eyeball now. And we just got six of the, uh, the chroma frogs. And there's an eyeball and then a second eyeball. At this point, we have uh, the amount of time remaining that you normally start with. So this was the Friday Night Froggin event, which gave us an adi additional time. Ended up being 16 minutes and 40 seconds. So at this point, we are seven minutes into the run. And we're working on Grand Frogger, number three. So then we're just going, after clearing out all of the enemies, now we can put it on auto and just punch Grand Frogger while collecting items. See, look at all that money. I've got almost 20,000 money. Just got an Angelite for the extra drop chance. And now, gonna buy a bunch of enhancers and farm them up. Didn't even spend all of that money, only spent about half of it. There is some really strong synergy between the Recycler, the Grey Genesis, and the thing. So now we are at 8 minutes remaining and we just killed Grand Frogger 3 from this absolutely insane build. So now we can start chopping the tree. So we're already done. We've done the final enemy, really, of... And then there's RNG voucher number three. So we're, we're going to fast through this part because nothing really exciting happens. I'll slow, di slow it down towards the end just so we can see the final count and final details for this. It's like a, it's almost like a bonus round at this point.
there we go. Six loot rolls. And we get a diamond duck chain. So just gonna stop here on the final numbers. We had damage range of 463 to 1850 with a crit damage of 7.2 times thanks to the horn. I started with 59 dungeon credits and ended up with 485 to a total earning of 426 credits with 66 of them just from the chopping phase. And uh, I had 172 RNG items collected in this run. I've got a listing of them down in the description. I hope you enjoyed that run just as much as I liked playing it. Uh, I know that dungeons have kind of captured my attention for a little while, but I'm planning on making some more guide videos, uh, especially for some achievements that are a little more difficult to get. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. Turn on the alerts so that you'll get notified whenever I upload new videos. Have a good one, guys.